Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Skyrim Special Edition. In the last episode, I found some totems finally from the uh, companions. Took a little bit and I uh, wasted a lot of time. Sorry about that. And uh, now I'm just going to continue on with the Dark Brother quest line at this point now. Me, brother? Believe it or not, Festus likes you. He senses your power, your potential. Follow his instructions to the letter, and you may even earn his respect. Oh, I think I might have done that already. Right then. So yeah, doing this uh, quest line here should be um. Need something? Hey, buddy. The shadow scales are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition from another time. Anyways, the what he wanted me to do was, um, oh yeah, kill the gourmet. And I already did all that stuff. The prodigal murderer returns, and the gourmet? Oh, he's he's big time dead. So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared, which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. I'm just gonna remain silent. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and got a night little something else band. as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Is that right? You'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. Oh boy. So yeah, let's take a look at the Nightweaver's band that I just got. Not too bad. Gives you a 10% sneak bonus and it gives you a, a nice little uh, destruction a reduction cost. So uh, yeah, that's not bad. Um, Probably more useful if you're uh, if you're more of a magic character uh, and a sneak at the same time. Like if you're a vampire, this is probably really good. Um, but yeah, I don't even care. If you're a vampire, I should say that likes to use destruction magic, then it's probably really good and all that and all that jazz. So anyways, yeah, let's talk to let's talk to Astrid. No one ever suspects a thing. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Is that right? Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in Solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Uh, which poison do I use? Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Now, what else can you tell me about this Jaren root? It's a rare plant. 
Found only on the island of Stros Mackay. Oh, really? It can be served like any vegetable. Cut up, put in a salad, perhaps boiled in a stew. One taste will lead to nearly instant death. So don't even think about it. Anything else? It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Hmm. Until hmm. Next... But yeah, the uh, ingredient that she gave me, the Jaren root, I believe this is a very, very rare... As you can see, it is a very rare alchemy ingredient. I don't know how you actually can get more of this in the game. There might be ways to duplicate it or get more of it uh, by some other means, but this is extremely rare. Uh, if you can get like an unlimited supply of these, I think you can make some really powerful uh, I'm brother. potions with it. So you can probably like sell and. I think maybe, you know, obviously it's good poisons that you can put on people and shit. Otherwise, I'd eat the thing right now and, uh, try to find its effects, but I think it might actually kill me if I did, so, uh, yeah, probably not a good idea. Anyways, to solitude we go. That is our next plot destination. Get on the right track here. All right. Shouldn't take me too long to get to solitude. Just kind of a long ride, I guess, from here. Especially if I take the wrong, if I take the wrong path, which I'm gonna try not to do. I don't know. I've rode these paths so many times now. I'm starting to learn them by heart pretty good. Still, I check every now and then just to make sure I'm going the right way. I haven't played this game in like a month, actually. Took a break from it. Not that you guys will even notice. I mean, I bulk record these and I just backlog them and release them daily, so. take lots of breaks in between videos and you guys probably wouldn't even notice. So I hope you guys uh, are enjoying this playthrough still. I'm enjoying showing as much of this game as I possibly can. Within reason, of course. I mean, I don't know every secret to this game. I don't know all the weird exploits, I don't know. I've seen all kinds of videos online where people are exploiting game mechanics and just, you know, stuff you can do to completely break the game and make your character, like, completely godly and stuff like that. I don't really want to play that way. I mean, those exploits are cool, I guess, but... You know, they ruin the game. In my opinion. Yeah, almost done with the Dark Brotherhood questline. There's not too much left, and then, uh, we starting on the kick-ass Dawnguard quest line. And uh, I'll be doing the, uh, obviously the Dawnguard side this time. I won't be joining the Valkahar vampires like I usually do. 
No, this time I'm gonna do the opposite. appeared out of nowhere. Uh oh. Is that a mud crab that wants to kill me? Oh hey. Hey it's a wood elf. Is there a reason why you're uh, trying to fist fight me right now? What the hell's up with this guy? Ooh, he's got moon sugar on him. Maybe that's why he was trying to attack me. He's got skoom up the ass on him. Holy crap, this guy's a drug addict. No wonder he's trying to attack me. Crazy, cr crazy, uh, crackhead Bosmer, huh? Come on, man, I expect that out of Khajiit, but not fucking Bosmer. Try to assassinate the Emperor. Oh boy. This should be fun. I need to make a fast escape. Park my horse so it's facing that way. Don't move. I hated that when you get off your horse. Sometimes the horse likes to just move and not stay where you park them. So we gotta go to Castle Dower. Which is, uh, well, pretty close. This city is crawling with Imperial Legion, and you know what? I'm still nervous. Lazy and useless, a lot of them. Stop right there. The Tower is off limits until further notice. Is that right? What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet! I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand, I'm... You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You misunderstand, it's just... Gianna, huh? Feel for him. Gianna will be overjoyed to meet you. She's in the kitchen. Oh boy. Exciting. Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there then get out. Uh, yeah, you misunderstand, for I am the Gourmet! The Gourmet? Yes. Oh, finally! When I heard the Gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... 
Silence! I am ready to prepare the grand feast. Oh. Actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. What? What kind of stupid shit is that? I don't want to wear a chef's hat. Fine, I'll play along, I guess. It's stupid. Where the hell is this chef's hat again? We'll begin as soon as you're wearing the hat. Check the shelf over there. Wouldn't want the Emperor mistaken oh. for someone else now, would we? Yeah, I guess. There, is that better for you? Oh, just look at you. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Yes, oh, we're here to yes, cook. Of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish. The potage le magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Uh... I'll try to remain silent here. Oh, I get it. This is a test, right? You want to see how well I know the potage le magnifique? Well then, I think a pinch of frost salt should do the trick, right? Now what? My choice then? Oh, very well, I think we should add some chorus eggs for additional flavor. Alright, what next then? Okay, uh, let me see. This one, <laughs> yes, uh, let's try that. Just a sprig or two. Alright, what next then? A septum? <laughs> what? My choice? Hmm. Alright then, tomatoes. Simple, yet infinitely flavorful. Don't you agree? Oh, sure. Well, I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Uh... Yes, we have one final ingredient. Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... Yeah, who's the gourmet here? I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. Damn right. Alright then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Oh yes, they sure are dying to meet me. <laughs> yeah, for some reason the whole time there I just wanted to warm my hands. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, this lady. So funny. Here we are. Quiet. Oh, it's, I'm nervous. Get that recent business we'll go in just a moment. Officer. Please, I'll dreadful. serve. How you just dreadful. stand there and be amazing. Huh. No problem. Yes. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one... Now that's beneficial, as I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> 
And you were an idiot. Oh, oh, how marvelous. Where's your Just taster? Delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... Oh shit. Can't move. No, no, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. Couldn't move there for a second. Oh crap. But yeah, I'm ditching this freaking hat, man. Where's my iron helmet? There we go. What is this? That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. Decoy? I'm even happier that you killed him. What are you? You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, have just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. Oh. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. What in the bloody blazes? Yeah, get out of my way, dude. You ain't gonna stop me. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time. Even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. <laughs> nice. I don't think I've ever been the uh, Thane of Solitude before to be able to just say, yeah, fuck off, guards. I know what I'm doing. Leave me alone. Wait, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going towards the Blue Palace. I don't want to do that. I want to go over here. chasing me, but I'm going to stick around to find out. So yeah, the sanctuary right now is being put to the sword. And Astrid freaking betrayed me. Go figure, huh? And the guards don't even, most of the guards are just going to leave me alone because I'm the Thane. That's pretty cool, man. Usually escaping that place isn't as easy. I've done that quest uh, probably two or three times before, and uh, yeah, each time it was a lot harder than that. Time here. 
24 minutes. Not too bad. So we got to return to the sanctuary and find out what happened. I don't know what happens when you actually kill that uh, that Morrow guy, or if the game even lets you do that. It, it might. I don't know. I don't. I don't bother trying to kill him. I just. I just run away. I imagine that's probably what you're supposed to do. Breton. Some weak ass Breton that's got some ebony stuff. Eh, why not pick it up? Well, except, eh, I guess I can pick up the armor too. Oh, maybe that was a bad idea. Yeah, just drop it. Too fucking heavy. Oh yeah, and that reminds me, I left Sophia back at the, uh, the sanctuary. Hope she's still hanging around there. I didn't need her on that mission anyway, so whatever, man. check my map. This is the one I want to take here, right? Yes. Right there. Uh, what do you want? You have quite the bounty on your head in Falkreath. You pay me, and I see that your name is cleared. I will make sure this gets back to the Jarl. 
minus my cut. <laughs> I paid him zero Consider gold. Consider your name cleared. For now. Yeah. All right, dude. Whatever, man. You do that. No, I didn't pay you one red cent. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. We got some problems here, folks. Wow, look at this. Penitus Oculus Agents. Nice uniform, guy. Yeah, I think the chill run would be better for this. Ooh, Sophia. What's going on, girl? You're naked. Hey. Yes, I'm listening. I knew you can stay away from me. Was there something you wanted? Okay, but if I hurt my back, you'll be carrying me. Hell, man. I see. I don't know what causes her yes. to, her equipment to get fucked like that. Oh man, brought a whole bunch of uh, oil to douse the sanctuary. What assholes, huh? Look at this. Crazy, let's go inside.
considering most of us are now dead, I, I assumed as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. But you saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <coughs> so, thanks. Yeah, no problem. You need to get out You've of here. You got that right. Only a matter of time before we're <coughs> roasted alive. Come on. Listen. I am your only salvation. Come. Embrace me. That'll teach you to cross me. Embrace the night, mother. What do you mean by that? To be <laughs> oh, we gotta go in here, right? Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now, come on, you've always <laughs> got it. One more pull. Yeah. There, can you get it open? I think so. Just hold on a moment. You must speak with Astrid here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. Hey, what's up, buddy? Been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Okay, I gotta speak with Astrid. She's here? Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go. Nazir told me what happened in solitude. You poor dear. You've been through so much. Oh yeah. It was so horrible. <laughs> Alright, so where the hell is Astrid? Okay. Alright, let's go freaking talk to Aster and find out why the hell she freaking betrayed me. Whoa. She's trying to do a black sacrament. <coughs> alive. You're alive. <coughs> Thanks, <for> this. <coughs> Does drinking milk make me a milk drinker? I'm confused. Shh. I drink milk, <coughs> but I'm also tough. Please. And drink as much meat as there is much. Milk. So what I have that to say, me? and not much time. <coughs> I'm sorry, <clears throat> so very sorry. The Penitus Oculatus, M Marrow, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone, forever. Now, while well, he lied, this, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. I know you did. You dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Marrow has betrayed me. Uh -huh. I just wanted things uh, uh, to stay the way they were. 
Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before... You... I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. Uh, yeah, I'm not really sure what you're saying. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. Yes, you were. And to prove my... <clears throat> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the blade of woe, so that you can see it through. You blade must of woe. kill me. All right, so we're gonna Please, keep nightshade. Sir, release my soul, and let Sithis be the judge. Yeah, so let's go ahead and take the blade of woe, and let's take a look at it. Now, this weapon right here. Yeah, it absorbs 10 points of health, but it has the highest base damage of any dagger in the game, so... Even though I have a weapon like the... Oh, I, I don't have it upgraded yet. I mean, so damage isn't that great right now. But, um, once I do upgrade it, it is going to be more powerful than the Mayrun's Razor. Um, this one right here is probably better against Daedra, obviously, because, uh... It'll summon it, it'll basically banish it back to oblivion. But as far as doing sneak attacks, there is no weapon that is better than the Blade of Woe in the entire game. Period. It has the highest base damage of any dagger, so once you upgrade it to its full um, to its full potential, then uh, you'll, you'll get the most damage out of this weapon. And also, if you're attacking with it, it'll absorb health too, which is a nice little added bonus. Huh? Do it, listener. Kill me. No problem. What is it? Thank you. All right. If I hadn't heard it with my own ears, I wouldn't have believed it. How could Astrid have done this to us? Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid. By the sands, I... Have you ever woken up in the morning with a big cock in your ear? That damn Shut up. screech so loud that I cooked it for dinner. Oh, look at this. Our stables are a bad place to sleep. <laughs> Luckily, the farmer didn't find out about it. I didn't even see that stone of Baron's eye before. Yeah, I wish... I wish I had, like, some kind of mod that showed me where all those are, man. Because I really don't know where, where they all are. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mead the Second must be eliminated. No, oh, yeah, that's Speak right. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family Together. Okay. So, hey, I believe, yeah, I believe this is the last quest right here of the uh, Night Brother or the uh, yeah, the uh, Dark Brotherhood. So let's uh, let's talk to the where is Nazir? Come on, man. Where are you, buddy? There you are. By Sithis, what a mess. 
I guess this is the end. Not quite. What? Well, what did she say? Yeah, I gotta speak with some, uh, some person at the Banner Mayor. Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family... <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Moltier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking... the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet that bet and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. Don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. Apparently alchemists eat ingredients to learn how to make potions. That doesn't sound very pleasant to me. I mean, who I'll admit, I'm having trouble coming to terms back? with all of this. As for eating thistles and antlers, that sounds painful. You just worry about fulfilling the contract. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, my friend. We might have enough time to get back to White Run. Shit. Where's my horse? There he is. attacking me. I'm just gonna ignore it. I gotta, re gotta upgrade that fucking blade of woe too, man. It's gonna be my weapon. It's gonna replace the Mayrun's razor. The uh, Mayrun's razor might go to somebody else. I have the perfect person in mind, actually.
Yeah, if it's a lady you're looking for, you... get on my way, dude. Is there something I can do for you? If you need anything, or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. Goofy. By the gods! You you're alive! But I had heard your sanctuary, please. You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead. The true Emperor. I still do. It was Morrow. He... Yes, where is the real Emperor? You mean, after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mead II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Ooh. Yeah, what kind of security should I expect? Surely you're joking. This is the true Emperor, not some half Septim lookalike. He'll be surrounded by elite bodyguards, I'm sure. You'll have your work cut out for you. Eh, uh, nothing Still. I can't handle. Everyone assumes the Dark Brotherhood has been completely destroyed. They may be a bit more lax than usual. Well, I don't know. <laughs> it's in the Solitude Inlet. That's the channel just north of the docks. Yep, got it. I suppose you should go to the docks and swim? Oh, man. But it's cold. I freeze to death. Ha <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude Docks conducting the Emperor's departure. Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna be killing him, too. Please, it's make haste. Fun. The Emperor's ship won't stay moored forever. We won't get a chance like this again. Don't you have all the information you need? Yeah. Please. Yeah, I do. The Emperor isn't going to kill himself. Now, wouldn't that be a blessing? <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyways, uh, I'm going to upgrade my new dagger because it's awesome. Do I have any like blacksmithing potions? See, I yeah, I should. I can't remember if I do or not. I should probably do this off screen, anyways. Yeah, I might as well. That's all for this episode of Skyrim. Uh, in the next episode, I'm going to finish up the Hail Sithis quest, and then, if I have time, I will check out the Dawn Star Sanctuary. This is Veteran 0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.